Hi Aquarius, how's everybody doing? As I'm sitting here drinking kombucha, I thought about um, one time Madeline Petch in one of her videos, she calls kombucha healthy soda and I think about that every time I drink it. Um, I'm just gonna segue in with that. I hope that everybody's doing very, 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 very well. I thought we'd throw in another Aquarian reading for anybody new. My name is Gabriella, also called G. I hope that um, everybody feels like they are in a grounded space. If you want to take a breath for a second, I welcome you to do that. You can close your eyes, think about your intentions. The energy has been like pretty palpable. I got um, a lot of readings done today more than usual and they've kind of been, even though the length is the same as what we normally do the energy has seemed kind of faster so keep in mind that we are channeling during the reading so sometimes um the energy may um pass by a bit more quickly um so yeah or slowly depending on what's going on maybe you feel more aware of energy in general too Let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. I'm hearing don't look back. I feel like that was the longest intro I've ever done. So random. Well, I mean, it's not random, but switching it up. You know, I was just thinking about Virgo too. So we're starting off with Virgo. If you feel guided, I encourage you to check out Virgo's reading. Um, you may have some insights that you find to be helpful there for you. It looks like you're being guided to reflect on something I think you're going to be figuring out whether or not something's in alignment for you and potentially why something is happening or why something needs to come to an end. You know what, this was actually um, pretty similar to Virgo's reading. I remember the, the Hermit and the Ten of Swords were next to each other in that one too. In at least on one energetic plane, something has come to an end. So maybe physically something came to an end, or it didn't physically end yet, but emotionally it's come to an end. There's some type of ending that's being reflected upon, and we're trying to figure out whether or not we're going to walk away from it. It looks like a dead end situation anyway, so I don't know what the stammering is for, but there's a sense of you like still being unsure about whether or not you're going to walk away from this. It's interesting too, like as we did a bunch of the readings today, um, I definitely noticed that like Gemini and Leo were kind of gravitating towards each other, like its own little entity. And um, Virgo kind of like popped through in an interspersed way as well. Virgo and the Pluto energy. So this is like Scorpio here. Um, I think this is about making the decision to ask yourself whether or not you want to keep like hanging around something that's not working for you any longer. So it's like, have you been hurt enough to walk away from a situation? Like, has it impacted you enough to be like, you know what, it's time that I step away from this and give myself time to heal? Because I'm almost seeing someone, um, it's like you keep ripping the bandaid off early and you keep going back into something and it's like, you just need time to heal from this completely because you could even be like you exit a situation and then you go back into it and then you exit it again and then you go back into it and it's like the same thing keeps on happening i'm just seeing you like you being bruised in the same area over and over again um for some of you this is about you keeping tabs on someone that you're not meant to be keeping tabs on anymore time to let it go. 
This can even be two times when you felt like you were wronged by someone or something. It's like the hermit over here looking within at the heart space and wondering what needs to be let go of. I'm seeing something about an ending, but this could have been like multiple things that happened to you that you felt hurt by, but you're still holding on to it. And we were getting the message to that if we're having thoughts that come up, if you're experiencing energy, if you're having someone come into your life, if you're going into a situation, if it is not resonating with you and if it does not feel empowering to you, what are we still doing entertaining that? And this can be thoughts too that you don't want to be having. It's like this thought comes up about how somebody wronged you 15 years ago and it's like why are we still entertaining that i'm also hearing why are we still perpetuating that and it's about letting go of it it's like if it doesn't feel good why are we holding on to it and it's about shifting our focus to the things that we do want to be thinking about the things that we do want to be focusing on And that's too not it's not to say that you aren't like justified in feeling hurt in in a situation or that like it doesn't mean you weren't wronged by someone it's not about that it's about like focusing on the opportunities that you do want to pursue and on the feelings that feel good to be consumed within and understanding that once we process through something and like i use this example often there's only so, there are only so many positions we can choose to like rearrange the furniture in the room and it comes time when it's like do you just want to sit in that room forever and keep rearranging the furniture or are we gonna like explore the rest of the house because we can sit here and we can keep doing this and it's like you can think about how they did that how you should have said that how whatever it's like all of these things but it's like all you're doing is just like organizing and rearranging and it's just the same stuff that you're working with so like are we going to expand beyond that and there comes time in a healing journey too which i know that we've also talked about this before where you get to a point in the healing journey where you've processed what you need to process and sometimes when we finally get that validation that we were looking for or somebody recognizing something that we've been through, it's hard to let go of that because you could have waited so long to be like validated or recognized for something hard that you went through or like some trauma that you experienced. And sometimes we stay stuck in that place because we feel comfortable there and it feels good to finally be like have that recognition for something that we wanted. But sometimes we are enabling ourselves to be stuck within that energy and not moving forward. And that's where the perpetuating comes from. It's sitting in that same place and rearranging that same room. And it's like, you can keep telling that story and you can keep getting the sympathy. But don't you want more than that? Like, can we transition potentially into that movement of like becoming the hero of your own story rather than the victim and rather also than perpe perpetuating the victim and the perpetrator duality that dynamic that we have and again that's not to say that it doesn't exist it absolutely does however like we can choose to stay in that spot and be like i'm justified for feeling that way or we can get free and we need to move on in order for us to do that. And clearly easier said than done because things still sting and like these experiences have been um, synthesized into like our biology and our biological reaction that we have to things and our psychological reaction that we have to things. However, like you are the one that is control and you don't have to stay stuck in that place. We don't have to keep talking about it. It's important to talk about it when we're processing it, but when we kind of run out of things and it's just the same thing repeating and repeating and repeating again, we can choose to let go of that and be like, that cycle is over and we can carry on from there. It doesn't need to keep continuing. That feels like a very specific message for someone.
I'm hearing the name Linda. You know, this is reminding me too, um, there is an author that actually talks about this, about, um, like, moving through trauma and whatnot and, like, has a spiritual element to it. Um, her name is, I think it's Caroline Miss. The last name is, I think, M-Y-S-S. -S. Her first name is Caroline. She has a bunch of books, but they're the ones that, I think, Anatomy of of spirit is the first one it, it's the book that comes after that i think that's the one um where you would find like the relevance to this reading and what i'm getting right now in case you're curious it might be sacred contracts that might be the one um, she talks about the chakras in her work, too. And also, like, different archetypes and stuff. Okay. You may have the chance to rehash how you're feeling with someone, but I don't think that you're going to end up doing it. I think that you're going to recognize that, as I said before, we can keep rearranging the furniture in the room, or you can just drop everything and move on and carry on. Because I'm just getting this vibe, and it's like... If someone didn't treat you the way that you wanted to be treated, you feel like this was an unfair situation. You didn't feel respected. I'm seeing this be multiple situations that happened. The thing is that you don't need to prove anything to anyone else now. This is about you having an experience where you're like, now I know what my standards are, now I know what my values are, and... I know that I'm not going to find what I'm looking for here, and that's that. Then you step out of a situation. I'm looking at Virgo and Pluto here. I'm hearing something about wind up. I'm hearing free falling. I feel like that's from a song. I'm seeing something something new that you're starting. I feel like I'm hearing the element shifted. It's like this energetic shift that's going on here. That first spread could have been like for a particular person. We may be getting a different like batch of energy here in this one. Free falling. That's from something. It's like it's like the chorus of a song. I'm just hearing free falling, but I'm hearing it like being sung out as a note. I have no idea what that's from. It's so funny, like Virgo doesn't want to leave you alone today. I'm seeing the little knight of wands over here. It looks like thinking before acting with something or someone. I'm hearing, wondering if that's what you really want to do. <laughs> Looking at the magician on the bottom of the deck. It's like, for some of you, it's like, are you really, you really think that you're going to get what you want from, from the Knight of Wands? Do you think? I don't know. I guess it depends on... I'm hearing what game you have going on there. It's like, what agreement have you created with this person? 
It's like, you may be trying to get something in writing or have something be like confirmed or agreed upon with an inconsistent energy that you're, yeah, it's like, I'm seeing it be like, sit down, I want to talk. It's like, you want to have this conversation with someone, but it's like, this person is just stomping around, like riding their horse all over the place. Like, they're not sitting down at the table. I'm hearing that you've so nicely prepared for them. It's like, you set this, you set this, um, this situation up so you can have a dialogue with someone and it's just like, they're looking everywhere else except for at you. And it's like, they refuse to make eye contact with you. You can't have, like, you're not getting a straight answer out of them. It's because they have other things going on. And maybe that's a lesson to you. It's like... It, you have tried to create a scenario and like given this person opportunities to have a frank conversation with you, but they're like too busy. I'm hearing marauding, doing whatever it is that they're doing. So, is marauding actually a verb? I know it's a noun. Yeah, it's like I'm seeing this one energy is like much more like all over the place and then there's another energy trying to like anchor or ground it and have like this serious straightforward conversation. It's like, look at what I'm trying to give you. It's like this person very serious here. And I am seeing this as being your energy, Aquarius. It's like you're trying to talk to this person and get them to sit still with you. Meanwhile, they're like, again, running around on their horse. I'm hearing marauding again. And it's like, I'm seeing this be upsetting to you, too, because you're trying to have this dialogue with this person, but they want to have fun. It's like, this person will talk to you, but when they want to talk to you, not when you want to talk to them, or not necessarily every time that you want to talk to them. So it's like, it's a difficult situation trying to work with this person. You see this? It's like... I'm hearing conflict resolution is needed, but it's like, you're over here trying to talk to this person, trying to get everybody to work together, and it's like, there's fighting going on here. You're like, you're not seeing eye to eye. It's like, just this chaotic situation. Like, I'm just seeing there's a very, there's a discordant energy here. Like, one is very frantic and spastic, and the other one is, like, more grounded and trying to, like, they're working on two different frequencies, and that's why this is not working together. Like, it just looks like two very, very different agendas. And maybe this is something that's been overlooked before. It's like, well, we're compatible in A, B, and C. And then, like, overlooking how the rest of the alphabet, you're not compatible. But because you have those those first three, it's, like, all you're focused on because that's all you want to see right now. Or, like, in this situation. I'm seeing it be one of those situations where it's like you're dressed and you're ready for the wedding and you think that if you can get this person into the wedding attire, like if you can just get them to wear the outfit, they're going to like start acting in the way that you want them to. But I don't think it's going to happen. And like this is why I'm saying the thing, it just seems like something is being overlooked with this individual. It's like, again, you think if you can just, like, get them in the right circumstance that, like, they're gonna go along with this, but it's like trying to tame a wild horse over here. Like, I'm just seeing this Knight of Wands energy be, like, a very, very, I'm hearing spastic energy. So it's someone that it's like, they're here and then they're gone, and then they're here and then they're gone, and then they're at your neighbor's house. It's like, they're all over the place here.
it's like they have their own agenda too i'm kind of seeing somebody like very distracted by like things internally going on with them it's like they may even be having a hard time like really seeing you really hearing you like i'm just seeing the way that the knight of wands is it's like they're like looking into the distance like i'm hearing on their pilgrimage you see this person it's like they're very consumed in the ride that they're on right now and i don't think that you're going to be able to ground this energy because everyone has to choose whether or not they're going to bring this down to ground level and i'm just like seeing a very high energy here like a very uncontrolled energy it's almost somebody that's like going with the whims and like the waves and the vibrations of things and one that like hasn't learned yet that they can control the narrative it's somebody that's just like on the rocking horse what reading did this come through in the rocking horse reference came through in one of the other readings if anyone watched that one and they know feel free to leave that in the comments it was one of the ones that we did today i would be wearing this shirt in the reading It's not going to work because this person's energy is closed off to you. This is what I'm seeing. It's like, as much as you come through, like, you can wear your Sunday best to have the conversation with this person. They're not open to it. And that's why it's not working. It's like, you may just think that there's an issue with the communication or like the static is too loud. And that's why. Meanwhile, this person is like the one switching the station so you can't get through. Like, it's not funny, but it's semi comical just because of like, how calculated this person is with like, making it seem like it's not them. But at the same time, again, it's like hand on the trigger. It's been this person all along. But I'm getting that that's also part of the like they haven't made this obvious to you. I'm hearing not in so many words. And so you may still even be in an energy where it's like, oh, look at how closed off they are. I can help with that. I can fix that. I can be consistent for you. And it's like this person has to make the choice to be open to the energy and they are not right now. I'm seeing very like zeroed off, very closed off energy. Oh, what reading is this reminding me of? This is reminding me a little bit of the Sagittarius reading. They were dealing with another Five of Swords, and I'm getting a similar energy here. This one seems a little bit more comical, though. I'm not saying the situation is comical. It's just, like, the way that this person goes about, um, like, kind of being evasive. It's just, it's kind of silly. It gets silly. Because I am seeing you, like, put a lot of effort into this. However, it's like you end up just chasing your own... Sorry, you end up chasing your own tail with this person. And it's like they're not open to discussing, like, how you can work better with them. They don't want to have an open dialogue. Like, I'm just seeing you in all of these scenarios. It's like you're ready to get up in front of the class and be the teacher... And it's like, this particular student is finding like every way not to learn the lesson. And you're also like, this is the thing too. You're not meant to be here like teaching, teaching anybody their lessons and all of that. If this person is not open to it, this is about accepting that and being like, I realize that like I cannot push someone through their own ascension. Doing the work is everybody's own in individual choice and I don't know what reading it was that I recently said this in but it was like the same thing along these lines like we cannot choose for other people to go through an ascension. We cannot choose for other people to do the work. It is always free will and this person is exercising theirs. And I'm um, seeing, like, acceptance needed. As I said before, I'm seeing a very closed-off energy. It's somebody that when they want to, they're going to come through and interact with you. But they're not going to fit into your life in the way that, like, you want them to fit into your life. 
And this is somebody that may actually enjoy the fact that they get to say like how they're going to enter your life and when they're going to enter their life. And that may be part of this dynamic that they enjoy playing out with you too. And maybe something that you're catching on to as well. It's like when they want to show up, they're very, very charming. I'm also hearing the word demure. And then it's like when they don't want to hear what you have to say, it's like ears plugged, la la la. They're not going to listen to anything that you have to say. May even start a fight with you. And it's like maybe this is what their version of love looks like. This is Maybe this is what they saw going on with their parents and inconsistent energy and one chasing after the other. This feels like one of those moments where you recognize that you may have some very, very intense, deep, big love for someone. However, they're not in the place here that little hermit is again. They may not be in the place to be open to connecting with you, and that may be something that's being accepted but it's it's one of those situations where it's like I have the most pure love to give to you don't you want it and like having a hard time having an experience with someone where because of their closed off energy like you're kind of being rejected here in this situation even if like that's not what's being said it's like energetically you're being rejected by this person and I'm seeing that be hard because that's also like that's not to say you don't have fun with this person um and that can be hard too because it's like it's like in these moments we've had so much fun together like don't you want to continue this like trying to appeal to them and it's like um they just have like some type of chip on their shoulder that they're not letting go of and this is something i'm hearing that's marking the relationship so it's just it's something that won't allow the relationship to develop further so um and it's completely up to this person like you don't have control over whether or not this person like lets go of whatever this is that they're holding on to that like keeps them at a distance from you and like I'm seeing at the bottom of it you being in an energy where it's like I can help you just like let me help you but it's not going to like I'm seeing that may even like fuel this person but not in not in a nice way so it's something that like you may want to back off of because it may be putting you in in a vulnerable situation. I'm also hearing unsavory situation with this person and it may actually be exacerbating this closed offness and them like thinking that they have some sort of control over it. So it looks like an energy that you're ultimately going to disengage with. Um, and I think that you may be thinking about getting more clarity on, like, something else, something other than this that you're going to be engaging in. But you may need some time time to yourself right now to really reflect on all of this and where you're going from here. 
because it seems like a chapter that like is going to be closing out but it's not closed yet I am seeing you be in a spot where I think there is like more of a step to be in an accountable, responsible energy where you're recognizing that it's up to you to seize the things that you want and instead of waiting for someone to allow you to be happy you're like I'm gonna pursue the things that I enjoy enjoy and I'm gonna go in that direction and I think you're getting more clear on that even though it's something that you're still thinking through right now I'm seeing like time as the hermit is needed which means like time to reflect on on your journey on your direction on truth on clarity on where your heart is calling you like these things need to be thought about Figuring out where you want to go from here. It looks like in the first chunk of this, um, whether or not it works out, a conversation is going to happen between you and this person if this did not already happen. Like, some of you could be married to this person or like legalities or finances are involved in this somehow um like I'm seeing something that is beyond just like you and this person like there are environmental things that are going on here I am seeing too still this thought that like if you come through in the right way and make the right offer like you and this person are going to like live happily ever after however there's this notion of like you got the wrong guy here or you got the wrong person here we're just picking pronouns um it's just like trying to get someone to fit into a role that they are not playing with you and, like, that's why there's this schism here. That's why this thing is not working out. Because it's like, you're, you're ready for this. You just, you got the wrong person here. This is what I'm seeing. It's like the wrong energetic frequency if we're really getting down to the bottom of it. Two people with two very different agendas here. And that's why, like, even though the love is here and even though you can see that very clearly, I'm hearing and feel the piercing of that. There's still a sense of, like, if we back up to the beginning, like, the two main characters are not compatible here, not energetically, not for this storyline is what I'm hearing. So I'm looking at Libra and Virgo. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.